a third and final abandoned set of flow lines running from the well to a former storage tank battery location, location to the north of the site then became our focus. This line set, which consisted of a two-inch abandoned flow line and a one-inch abandoned flow line that would have intersected the Martinez home on the southwest corner of the foundation, was excavated at a depth of approximately seven feet. And that flow line ran from the well and curved up and we terminated right about here. Investigators found these lines terminated approximately six feet from the foundation of the home and the lines had been cut all the way through. The lines had been abandoned since the tank battery to the north was moved prior to the development of the subdivision. Both lines were traced back to the wellhead where the two inch line was disconnected and capped but the one inch line was still connected to the well through a valve. This valve was in the on position until it was turned off by an operator during the night of the explosion and, the fire, at the, and, and fire at the request of emergency responders as part of the utility control shutoff process. Where the lines had been cut was also approximately five feet from the southern French drain in the Martinez home. You can see the shadow of the French drain right here. Analysis of the gas found that it was pre-refined product directly from the wellhead that had not been odorized with mercaptan as domestic gas is before it is transported to buildings. It is much more volatile than refined gas such as natural gas and propane that are used in everyday consumption. Once investigators were able to begin excavation in the basement of the Martinez home, the sump pit was uncovered and testing revealed that the same gas found in the excavation pit where the line was cut was the gas present in the French drain of the home and adjacent home and was also the same gas found in the sump drain that is connected to the French drains around the home. Continued and expanded monitoring conducted by COGCC has verified there is no active contamination beyond these two homes and furthermore the contamination is not expanding since the control of the source on April 17th. Mapping of this gas by investigators showed that the gas had bled off the wellhead through this line that had not been disconnected when the line was abandoned. The gas followed the flow path of the line where it was cut and into the surrounding soil at the foundation of the Martinez home where it slowly saturated the soil and migrated into the adjacent French drain and into the drain line through the sump pit of the basement of the home. This fugitive gas, which would have been odorless even to a trained tradesperson like Joey Irwin, eventually reached the right mixture of gas and air found an ignition source just prior to 4.46 p.m. on April 17th while Mark and Joy were in the basement and erupted into a sudden and violent explosion and rapidly exp expanding fuel-fed fire that destroyed the home, taking the lives of Joey Irwin and Mark Martinez. And I want to stress this point. There is absolutely no evidence to suggest that the deaths of Mark Martinez and Joey Irwin, his brother-in-law, were the result of any criminal or improper activity on their part. I also want to note, given the attention on this issue, the proximity of the well to the home was not a contributing cause in this incident or investigation. It was the pipeline rather than the wellhead that caused the buildup of methane that led to the explosion. It would appear an unusual and tragic set of circumstances occurred here, including circumstances around the proper identification of and maintenance of the related abandoned flow lines. Now that the origin and cause portion of the investigation is complete, we'll be sharing our findings with COGCC and other regulatory agencies in order to allow them to review practices and procedures and take necessary steps moving forward. I want once again to, re to reiterate that no adjacent homes are in any danger as a result of this severed line and a full cleanup of the original hazard on the site will be required and thoroughly completed once the on-site portion of the ongoing investigation is complete. The adjacent well and all flow lines have been tested and verified in safe condition and the well remains in a shutoff condition. As far as the next steps in terms of the investigation, this is not the final but only the initial step in the process. We will now move forward into the next steps allowing Chief Montgomery and the Firestone Police Department to complete the death investigations. To clarify, uh, there were two lines, a two inch and a one inch line, both running from the same location of the wellhead to the abandoned battery. Both of those had been cut at the foundation of the Martinez home. One of them was disconnected at the battery, the two inch line, which would have been the main flow line. The other one remained connected at the wellhead. So just to clarify those points. Uh, as far as when that battery was removed, 
the, the development would have been somewhere between 1999 and 2002. The distance to the wellhead was not a factor in this case or the investigation. It was the abandoned flow lines that were the source of the leak and explosion. At this point, we don't have all the facts as to how the line was cut, so I, would, I don't want to speculate on that, but that is something that we will share with Colorado Oil and Gas Commission and something that would be in their purview to look into. Based on our investigation and what we have uncovered so far is that the gas, the flow of this gas would have been through the broken line as it was operated into the soil around the home that would have leached into the French drain. The French drain would have run parallel to this line about five feet away and would have migrated through the French drains into the sump pump and into the basement of the home. The well was shut in or in a non-producing state for all of 2016. It was brought back online by the, uh, by the owner operator on January 28th of 2017 and would have flowed until that point. Thank you.